While the new strain of bird flu virus has only been reported in mainland China for now, authorities in the region remain on high alert, because one way the virus could be spreading may not be something that border quarantine officials can prevent. The new strain of the H7N9 bird flu virus may have the potential to spread further than China. According to Hong Kong microbiologist Professor Yuan Kwok Yung, a large number of wild birds may have already contracted the disease. And to make matters worse, they're on the move. Migratory birds are headed north for the summer, but they'll be headed south soon enough for the winter. Professor Yuan says Hong Kong needs to be prepared. He gave the example of the H5N1 bird flu virus, which mutated and became a bigger threat. We know that with H5N1, if three of the genes swap, then it can be transmitted through saliva, and the transmission between people can be very serious. At a press conference on Friday, he said Hong Kong needs to be prepared for when, not if, the birds come. Wild birds could contaminate Hong Kong's poultry. A lot of the patients had a history of coming into contact with poultry. Also, many are the elderly or those who have retired. Photos like these have been appearing on China's array of microblogs. Birds mysteriously dying in droves. Why they're dying has not been confirmed. But with 14 people dead and 63 reported human cases of the H7N9 bird flu, people are connecting the dots. The silver lining? Experts are, for now, saying it's unlikely the bird flu will mutate into a form that could be passed from human to human.